Norman Zinberg was an eminent psychiatrist, Harvard Medical School professor, drug abuse treatment expert, public advocate of drug policy reform, and world-renowned author. His 1984 book, Drug, Set, and Setting, was a landmark publication that documented the powerful role of set and setting that's now widely accepted in shaping individual drug use. To present this year's Norman E. Zinberg Award for Achievement in the Field of Medicine, please welcome DPA's Managing Director for Development, Ellen Flanagan. It's my great honor this evening to pay tribute to a hero, the late Dr. Jack Fishman. Dr. Fishman was born in 1930 and was forced as a child to flee Nazi-occupied Poland with his family, finding refuge in Shanghai and later immigrating to the United States. Dr. Fishman pioneered the study of opiate antagonists and developed a number of medicinal compounds that aid in reversing the effects of opioids, the most prominent of these being naloxone. As you all obviously know, the life-saving medicine now widely used throughout the United States and many countries around the world. His legacy is truly a miracle for our community and has prevented hundreds of thousands of people from dying of an opioid overdose. More than 40 years after inventing naloxone, Dr. Fishman lost his own stepson, Jonathan Stampler, to a heroin overdose. Jonathan's mother, Joy, told the Huffington Post, quote, it never even occurred to us that naloxone could save Jonathan. Back then, we didn't think of naloxone as a household item. Doctors weren't writing take-home pre prescriptions for it. It was hard for Jack to get naloxone, even though he invented it. Somehow, emerging from this immense sorrow, Joy found the strength to become a fearless advocate carrying forth the legacies of both her husband and her son, fighting for greater access to naloxone and syringes, fighting, just as her husband had, to breathe new life into our loved ones. So tonight, I pay tribute to another hero, Joy Fishman, who will be accepting this award on her husband's behalf. Joy, as I present this award to you, I also make a sincere promise. We will stand alongside you in this struggle, fighting to increase access to your husband's miracle drug, fighting to prevent mothers from suffering the same pain you have. Thank you, Joy, and thank you, Jack. Everyone said, what are you going to say, Joy? And I said, I, I only have one word. It's naloxone. What else is there to say? And I'm not a fearless person. I am a product of Ethan Nadelman. <laughs> when my son died, I had opted to go underground and do my grieving. and. Uh, Ethan somehow years later tracked me down and he said, you have a story to tell. You can't just go quietly in the night. You have to tell your story. The story is one of irony. My husband invented naloxone. My son, Jonathan, died of a heroin overdose. Something that my dear Jack, my husband, suffered in agony over for years to come because he knew that it was a possibility that this could have saved Jonathan. But what happened? And the question is not what happened, the question is what didn't happen. Jonathan died of an overdose and he was dumped, literally, and you've all heard these stories before, in Hialeah. 
There was no naloxone. There were no harm reduction people working to save his life. There was no good Samaritan law. So the people that dumped him did not call 911 for fear of being arrested themselves. So there is the story, and there is the sadness. But here is the upside. My son, his beautiful girlfriend, Ashley, who also died of an overdose, I am here as a spiritual mother to them and a spiritual wife to my husband, and I'm here to say thank you for taking my husband's work and making it possible to save the lives that we've all saved. And Jack, I love you, I love you still, and I thank you for giving me this opportunity to give back. So thank you all.